But this time I'm just going to talk about Super Ego and Reefer Division. So, I got my trailer, I would say, about a month or two months ago. Um, right around January, I got it. So, let me see if I can change the screen around. I did get my taxes from last year. And this is in six months of the company. I did 184000 in BOLs. So that is good. And then the load I'm on now, I'm going to show you the load I have now, which is this right here. I went from Akron, Ohio to got to deliver Dallas, Georgia Monday, 8 a.m. But 3,600. That is for 700 miles. $3,600, 700 miles. So, that's not bad. Um, I believe I netted around maybe 90 to 110, 90 to 100,000 last, in six months here. So, that's very good, you know. Um, very happy with that. And on uh, my last paycheck that I just got Friday, let me see here. I got one right here. All right, here's my last paycheck. Whoops, I didn't hit the back button. So, this is from the date 2 7 2 11. I did 10,800 in BOLs. My total is 9,500. Just so people always say, oh, well, the date's incorrect. That's 2 18 right there and that's my check 5454 now I did have some other checks but um they didn't uh, like they took out a little bit when I changed put my tra old trailer in they took out two installments to like 700 and 800 dollars for tires and brakes so they did take out a little bit but um, I'm running a lot less miles and I'm making better money. Like I said, this one's 700 miles for 3,600, so that's five dollars a mile, five dollars and five cents a mile. So uh, that puts my weekly total at this week for 10,700, which hopefully I can use less diesel. Um, <clears throat> once you get here, your trucks are at 68, but you can always jam them up a little bit. So. I jammed mine up a little bit, and um, yeah, the diesel is kind of killing me right now. So I'm at a cross where, crossroads. What to do? I can um, do my own IFTA, and then I can buy my own diesel. But um, I just gotta look at doing my own IFTA. I know a lot of the ELD devices will do your IFTA with you, but uh, you know, doing they uh, ELDs with them, I'm. I'm not sure how that works but anyways but yeah i'm getting a lot better my loads usually um are three dollars to five dollars a mile you know with the reefer so it pays a lot better um, even coming out of florida you know i went home uh last sunday i was home i delivered in <clears throat> like an hour from my house monday but i got home saturday at like I got stuck at a shipper or receiver for like seven hours. I should have been home at lunch, but I got home at like seven o'clock Saturday night. Uh, stayed there Saturday night, Sunday. <clears throat> then Monday morning, I went to unload at 10 a.m. So um, even doing that, you know, I I did very well. But um, yeah, the diesel really killed me. But so I still go home, but I try to deter it where um, you know I don't take a lot of days off because getting these kind of checks is kind of nice you really don't want to go home too much you know making five grand a week but um, still working on financing try to get my stuff financed uh, through a bank you know right now I'm up to like oh probably like uh, 100 and probably about 200,000 get the truck and trailer so I still got some work to do but um making it slowly but surely and um yeah always remember save all your statements everything for your tax season because right now I'm 
battling trying to get all my deductions and do all this stuff so um next year obviously i'll be a lot more prepared but i wouldn't make a video a guy just come up to me again and be like hey what's up with the company da, da, da. how you doing well you know even with the dry van i was doing good but now they don't give out <clears throat> the brand new trucks but you know i know the reason why because <laughs> people are tearing them up <laughs> The one guy had a truck and uh, brand new, didn't pay no money down, and he sent me a photo or somewhere, and uh, he had the cabinet ripped out, the fridge ripped out, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna put a big, bigger fridge in. I was like, Shh. I was like, how can you do that? It's not even your truck yet, you know? Uh, I think you have to buy the truck and put in your name before you can start tearing the truck up, but yeah, I don't understand it. But it is what it is, you know, everyone's different. So, that's it you know but um but yeah it's, you can definitely make you know five thousand dollars a week here no problem no issue i like to do mine on short runs now just 500 miles 600 miles last week i did yeah i think i did a, a bunch of loads for like four to six hundred miles and it was two grand a piece 2200 stuff like that i don't know i'm starting to like them light loads so 700 miles for 2200 or no, i did 700 miles 2700 at light i really like that one that weight sometimes put a toll on you this one says it's 40,000, but it's actually like 37,000, so it's not too bad but i'm 42 minutes from my drop and um you know it's not till tomorrow morning so i'm gonna go fly my drone around but yeah anyone's looking to come here and check it out um like I said, you can definitely make five five thousand a week, no issue. Sorry, I just had a tooth took out yesterday, so I gotta go brush my teeth and fix it up. But it was a molar. I had a my root was uh, had bacteria on it or something, so it was like throbbing pain, very horrible. But now it's a lot better. So this is it hurts. It doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. You know, I still got a big wound inside there. Anyways, man, you guys be easy. Have a good Sunday. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on here. Leave a comment. Or also, um, you can go to Facebook under Kamikaze Drone Productions. And you can message, mes message me there. And um, that's it, man. You guys have a happy Sunday. God bless you. Bye. Whoops.